Hi guys, I'm Natalie Caitlin and my channel name is The Stylish Mid. Thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please do subscribe to my channel and join the family. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back again. In one of my recent videos, I shared my mid school essentials and then I asked you guys if you'd be interested in seeing my favorite medical apps and resources and stuff like that. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you guys some of my favorite apps for medicine and med school. And so I really hope you guys enjoy this video and do stay tuned. And without wasting much more time, let's get right into it. So these apps can be downloaded onto your phone, onto your tablet, onto your iPad, whatever gadget you have. Just check in your app store. And so yeah, I like to use apps and like study on my iPad or that my phone because if I'm on my phone, I am gonna click away from whatever I'm studying and end up opening Instagram and Twitter and all that. So I'd rather just use them on my iPad alone. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna go through them. Okay. So the first app I want to talk about is called ECG, like it's just called ECG. And so in ECG, there's cases of different ECG patterns and like abnormal ECGs. And it shows you how to read the ECG and how to actually apply the knowledge into a case. And so that's really cool, especially for those of you that are in the early clinical years of medicine, when you're still learning ECG, it's really helpful for you to practice your skills and so I use ECG. The next app I want to talk about is called Prognosis and this app is basically cases. So you choose a specialty that you want to kind of focus on and then it plays lots and lots and lots of cases for you in that specialty. So for example if you're doing pediatrics and then it will bring up a dozen of pediatrics cases for you to analyze. So it gives you the case and then it asks you what you're going to do next and then you choose what you're gonna do and then you choose your diagnosis and your treatment. And when you're done, you get to play back the case and it shows you what the right answers are and what and where and how you went wrong. So that's really helpful for those of you studying medicine and I think this is a really good app, probably one of my favorite apps actually. So then the next app I wanna talk about is called Scrubbed and on this app you basically choose the specialty again that you want to focus on and then it brings out a lot of cases like just really simple cases for example what are the top three causes of intestinal obstruction and then you answer and then there's a little discussion on it and Paul can comment on that as well so that's really cool because you get to have like an online forum type of for your uh, different questions and the next app I want to talk about is thumb roll now if you guys have been following me on instagram you probably have seen me talk about thumb roll before so on thumb roll there's basically an a to z list of different medical procedures and you basically just open one and it's a slideshow of all the steps in that particular procedure so for example if you're learning how to do sutures it would literally show you step by step by step from the beginning to the end of how you do sutures and that's really cool because um sometimes when you're watching videos online on how to do certain stuff and learning a skill online it kind of goes by fast but on thumb roll it's slowed down for you it's a slideshow step by step and you can go through it at your own pace and take as long as you want instead of having to always replay a video and then fast forward and then rewind and then fast forward again so that's really cool i really 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 recommend you guys to download thumb roll and learn all your surgical practices and medical skills there so then the next app I want to talk about is called Medscape and on Medscape you basically have all the drugs, conditions and procedures in medicine and you just pick one and it gives you the overview, the clinical manifestations and presentation, the workup, the differentials, the treatment, every single thing about that particular disease or the procedure and you also have news from different medical cases and stuff and that's really nice the next app I want to talk about is called touch surgery I don't really use this one as often as I use the other ones but on this one you basically have a lot of procedures on there and then you open one you can view it and then you'll test yourself after you've already learned the information based on the procedure that you've been shown and then the next app I want to talk about is called Lecturio. Probably you guys might already know about this one. But on Lecturio, you basically have a lot of videos that you can learn all your different subjects from. And this one is a paid app. So this is why I wouldn't really, you know, mention it amongst my favorites. Because something that I love has to be something that I don't have to pay for, if that makes sense. And I don't like the fact that I have to pay for um, most of the videos that actually are relevant to me so if you guys don't really mind spending a bit of coin on you know some of these apps then lecturio is definitely one for you guys to get because you get um you pay your subscription and you have access to lots more videos whereas if you don't pay for the subscription you only have a limited number of videos 
to have access to and so yeah and then the next app i want to talk about is called complete anatomy and on this one you have um anatomy models of the human <laughs> anatomy so whether it's the skeleton the muscles the organs whatever you want you can get it there so you can i like that you can turn it around in different directions you can zoom in and you know really focus in on the different parts of the body and this is cool because in a textbook you only have the pictures that they've put there for you at the um different and aspects and points of view that they've put for you there whereas in this app you can zoom in and out as much as you want and get to look at it from all kinds of different angles and this is really helpful especially if you've just started medicine and are learning anatomy then the last app i want to talk about is called picmonic and on picmonic you basically have a picture that's a mnemonic and i guess that's why they named it picmonic so um it gives you different like really cool and um animated depictions of the scenarios or cases or medical terms and things that you're learning for example i opened this one cranial nerves and cranial nerve one so it gives you a picture that helps you to remember that this is what it is and then it also tells you the function and you can play the audio and it reads that out to you and you can also quiz yourself after you're done so that's a really cool feature because it's really hard sometimes to remember the stuff that you read in a book but if you've seen a really nice picture that's made it so simple and put in a cool way when it comes to you in an exam you'll just remember that picture and then you remember oh okay this is this and then you write that down and you move on so there's lots of pictures that are mnemonics basically and the way it's depicted is in a way that really helps you to remember and that's why i like it so yeah guys these are the apps that i've been using for a while now in medicine to help me kind of when i don't want to study and sit at a desk and you know like just read then i'll grab my ipad or my phone and i'll get into bed and i'll just go through these apps and i can quiz myself i can test myself i can watch cool videos and see cool pictures that actually help me remember this stuff rather than just sitting at my desk and reading and getting bored so for those of you that struggle to pay attention sometimes and are tired of reading in the boring manner i guess these apps are for you my favorites are prognosis medscape and thumbroll and i suggest that you guys try these apps and let me know if you have any other app recommendations leave them in the comment section and you know i'll check them out and you'll also be helping someone else out there in the comment section so yeah let me know what your favorite medical apps are if you have any leave a comment let me know what you use and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye